Let's go, ladies and gentlemen. Let's go, baby. Let's get it. Oh. Let's go, chat. Let's go. In, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, as we get ready to head back to the links here, we're getting ready to go back at it here for a little bit more PGA Tour, a little bit of early morning PGA Tour action in store here for today. We're getting ready to uh, load back into our PGA Tour career here. <sighs> Look at the roll up the sleeves, pick up another win, pick up our first, uh, actually, I think this is our second PGA Tour uh Round here, so we're looking to pick up another another win, another win here for the Canadians in the PGA Tour. Looks like we're headed to TPC Summerlin, looking for a good, uh, good, good, good 36 holes here. Two rounds of golf, 36 holes of just non-stop great action, and uh, hopefully a lot of birdies, hopefully a lot of nice putts, hopefully everything seems to you know go our way here tonight in this one. Hopefully everything goes our way here. We don't have to worry too much about the action out there you know hopefully everything just falls into place we don't have to worry about anything hopefully the greens aren't super fast it's too early says Skyler it's too early my boy it's never too early oh my gosh it's too early for stars though brother Let's too go. early for stars coming in with the 96 star dono Skyler my boy coming in showing the love showing the love get it my boy let's get it homie all right see what we can do Skyler Pruitt coming with that like on the stream as well and the 96 star dono let's get it homie let's get it baby Woo. all right let's see what we can do here you know we're gonna load in we're gonna see if we can uh at least try to do something half decent here let's see if we can maybe go a couple holes you know a couple couple good rounds here get a couple you know birdies a couple eagles maybe get a hole in one see if we can hit some uh some crazy crazy clips or something you know we have a few from the other day that we definitely want to get uh, clipped out and put up as reels and everything else because we're having some fun. We're having some fun with this game. At some point, we may even decide to, you know, maybe get the newer ones. I don't know. We might get the newer ones. We might not. I feel like we might just because this is... We're, we're enjoying the vibes. We're enjoying the early morning vibes of just, you know, vibing out, playing some, playing some PJ Tour, nice and easy, staying breezy. That's what we like to see. It's like, it's what we like to do, you know? That's what we like to do. I was gonna go, I was gonna start even earlier, Skylar. Yesterday I started at like 7 a.m., homie. Yesterday was like 7 a.m. when we fired it up. We might start doing some more early morning streams, just, you know, golf or whatever else, whatever we need to do. It's too early to be that hyper and alert. Come on, Jeremy, I've been up all night though. I've been just, waiting i've been itching i've been foaming at the mouth brother just waiting to get back into the links okay okay we just been waiting trust me trust me it's never too early to be hyped up okay it's never too early to be hyped up homie Ooh, see we would have hooked that we would have hooked that that's that's a good thing we did it's a good thing we didn't nice and easy staying breezy right down the fairway here good shot Rolling out, rolling out nice and good. PGA 2K21, yeah, I'm a broke bitch, Eric. I'm a broke bitch. I'm a broke bitch. I wish I wish I had uh, 23 or the uh, the new, uh, the PGA, uh, what's the other one, the Masters or whatever. I wish we had the Masters too. That'd be fun. That'd be fun to have too. Jeremy says, four. Nice putt, you jackass. Look at that wind, bro. That wind's going to fuck me right here. I know it. Only a lob wedge, so it's not going to get too much rollout, but at least a little bit. It's kind of a short one, but the wind's going to be really messing with me here. We might actually go a little bit farther. Uh, we need to play WGT. What's, uh, what's the WGT one? Is that like the other golf game that they have out? I don't know. What's WTG? I need, I need to know. I need to know. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Bite. There we go. There we go. There we go. I have it for uh, PS4. Okay. I mean, I don't know. It, I'd have to look into it to see if it's like cross compatible or not. If it's kind of, you know, if, it, if it'll all work. If it'll all work. Three foot putt. So it's gonna have a little bit of break, but not too much. And yeah, right there. Right there should be fine. First hole, birdie, birdie. We'll take it. We'll take it. 
Uh, WGT is, uh, is is on Steam multiplayer free golf. Ooh, okay, okay. We might have to do that. We might have to do that. I want. I really want to start doing like Saturdays for like uh, uh, all the supporters and stuff. Saturday supporter games, and like I want to start doing like you know just some fun games and stuff. You know. Uh, there's that golf with friends where it's like mini putt. You know, it'd be really cool to get uh, you know a lot of the supporters and everyone that's uh, you know part of the sub club and everything in on that. Where if everyone you know supports, helps out the channel, we get some time that we can play together and everything else. It'd be pretty cool. It'd be pretty cool. Uh, the dirtbags play WGT and Lynx E6 golf, both free. Oh baby, we might have to. We might have to check those out. We might have to check those out. We like the free games, that's for certain. We like the free games. Matty! It's good, Mr. Fletcher. Matty coming in, showing the love, the heart reaction. Hey, baby girl! What's up, Matty? What's up, my boy? Oh, look at that. Fucking beautiful shot. Beautiful shot. Just roll right to the green, why don't you? Why stop 100 yards short? Just go all the way to the green. Don't even mess with me, okay? Ooh, from earlier. Who's this? Sergio Garcia? Button for birdie? Good putt. 35 footer. Drains it. Nice. Good shot. That's a good putt right there by Sergio, bro. That's a good putt by Sergio. Listen, Eric, Jeremy, if you guys are still here, if you guys haven't hopped off yet, make sure you guys hit that like button on the stream as well. Hit that share button. Share it out to the world. Get your friends, get your family, get everybody in here. Uh, that's how I golf in real life. Is that, that's how you golf in real life, eh, Maddie? It's all about, you know, you drive for show, putt for dough, my boy. That's what it's all about. That's what it's all about. Drive for show, putt for dough, okay? I can putt for the dough. Driving, I, I can hit it far, but sometimes not very accurate. Sometimes not very accurate, that's for certain. Ooh, that wind is actually super crazy. That's not too bad. Could have played it a little farther to the right, but... We'll take it, we'll take it. Eric, my boy, coming in with that like and the share. Let's go, homie, let's go, my boy. Coming in, showing the massive love. The massive love, my boy. Woo. My drive ends up everywhere, uh, but where I want it. Everywhere but you want it. Yeah, that's kind of how mine rolls out, too. You know, it's kind of like that. Uh, we got a six-foot putt. It's slow moving. I'm thinking only about a ball length to the left here. Should just roll nice and easy in here. It's too bad real golf didn't have the putting lines. That'd be way easier, bro. If real golf had putting lines, <laughs> that'd be so good. That's honestly this game, though. I played this so much when I was a kid. Like, I played it so much when I was younger that, like, it helped my putting out by so much. Like, when I look at a green now, I basically see those putting lines. I see how the green is breaking and everything else and stuff like that just from playing this game. So it's, it's actually kind of beneficial when you look at actual, you know, real life golf and everything you know it's, it's pretty cool it's pretty cool I like that <laughs> little 103 powerhouse a uh, bomb ski poo right down the middle of the fairway let's go That's what we needed That's what we needed oh I could have went could have went over there what the fuck this is a weird hole bro Weird hole, bro. Five iron. We're going to get a big first bounce. The wind is kind of into us, but a little left here. We're going to go back just a little bit. Like, it's going to draw it back a bit. But like, going to plan for it to land there. It's going to actually end up being pushed back to the left quite a bit and backwards. So it's going to land somewhere in, like, hopefully this area here. Behind the flag. Good little first bounce. We actually... Yeah, that's kind of where we want it, right there. Putting to the five iron. Come on, look after us. Little bounce to the right here. Whoa, 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 whoa! Check up now, check up now. Okay, yeah. See, I thought it would roll out a little bit too much there, but it's a good look. Good look at the hole. Downhill. Little break to the right here, but it's over a decent distance. Thirteen, well, fourteen feet to the hole here. Can be slow at the end. Seems to be picking up. We're gonna go. Go right about there. Got a couple lengths to the left. This one's gone in. Made a sweat there for a second. It made it 
We had to sweat for a second there, but we made it. We made it. That's what we needed. We got our Tim Hortons. We're just primed and ready for the day, chat. We're primed and ready for the day. Uh, Lynx E6, you can play with up to eight real players. WGT is four players. Ooh. Brother, we might have to check those out. We might have to check those out. We can get some subscriber games going or something like that. Get a bunch of like the, the, the subscribers and everything. I think that'd be a pretty cool thing. And then obviously throw in, like if we have open spots, like if we only have you know, three or four subscribers that are in the chat that want to play, that we can bring in a couple of the followers and other people that want to play and everything else. So... I don't know, it'd be kind of neat, kind of neat, if we could do that. That'd be kind of dope. I think that'd be kind of cool to do. Something different. Something that not a lot of other streamers and stuff are doing, right? Big thing. <laughs> Little bombski poo right down the middle of the fur way here again. Oh, roll out. Keep on hopping. Keep on rolling. Hit this little bit of a hill right here. Come on, roll down the hill, baby. Roll down the hill. Ooh. 367. Wowzers. All right. So this is a lob wedge. It's going to bite real good, but we do have quite a bit of wind behind us. It is breaking hard to the left here. So we're going to aim a little bit farther to the left, but it is going to bite really good here. We're going to go right there. Bite, 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 bite. What a shot. What a shot. What a shot. Take that. Cameron Champ. Champ do a nice little chip. They're going to roll in. Oh, hit the flag stick and stayed out. Man, that's, that's still a good shot. Still a good shot. Two under. Decent. A little tappy tap. Easy pot, easy pots. That's what we like to see. We like to be right there within a couple feet of the hole. So we we'll take that. We'll take that. These par threes are uh, our killer for us. But Jason Day minus five. We're catching them. Catching them. We're right on his, right on the back bumper. Wind into us quite a bit. Into us and backwards. Okay, okay, okay. And it's breaking left. You know, like right there. No, we do have a wood in our hand. Five hybrid. Hybrid's got a decent little bounce and a decent little rollout. So even whatever that wind is going to save us, get back just a little bit more here. Come on, come on, come on. Reel back, reel back, reel back. We'll take that. We'll take that. What? what? Look at the. Okay, we just need a little bit farther to the right, but that was an absolutely perfect weight on that. Perfect weight. We're getting dialed in. Sergio, is Sergio dialed in here? Look at this roll. Look at this roll. Look at this roll. Oh, Sergio Garcia. Wowzers. What a roll. What a play right there by Sergio, bro. Good, good chip. Good chip. Tie a first place here. It's breaking pretty good to the right. Five foot putt. Let's go. Let's go. It's what we want to see. Just a scorecard full of birdies. No bogeys, no pars, just all birdies. Nothing but birdies and nothing but net, chat. Wind's pretty effective here, but let's see what we can do here. Perfect. Perfect. Good roll out here as well. 
Absolutely meant. Absolutely meant, chat. That's what we needed right there. This one's going to be a tricky one. We got to club up. 99 yards or about five yards past the pin here. That wind, I'd like to be a little bit more, but I could just get 100% because we're going to get roll out just a little bit. I'm going to go to the left a tad as well. I'm going to go right about there. Oh, bite, 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 bite. Damn, it's a little bit too much. That wind didn't affect it as much. 15 foot pot here. Oh God, and she break into the left pretty solidly over 15 feet. I mean, she's gonna break quite a bit here. Not a whole lot. She's not moving all too, too much, but I think I'm right about there. No, yeah, yeah. No, one more click, one more click. Right there. Oh, I shouldn't have. Shouldn't have guessed myself there. We were lined up perfectly. We moved it just that little bit farther to the right. That's what screwed us. That's what screwed us right there. Okay, okay, par. We'll take it. It's not a bogey. It's not a bogey. We'll we'll allow that. We can still maybe get an eagle or something. Bring us back so we can get to the minus you know 18 area. It would be ideal. That would be picture perfect. Why am I using them? Fucking three wood, bro. No way, bro. Guess we could aim farther left. Justin Thomas. Long putt. Ooh. And far through seven. Well, look at this. Look at this roll. Look at this roll. Breaking right in there. Oh. The shot. Good putt. Good putt. This law is not great. This law is not great. Suck it. Nine miles an hour wind. We're using a pitching wedge. So it's going to get a bit of a rollout. Not a whole, whole lot. Enough to make it worthwhile to overshoot it by a tad bit. Right about there. <laughs> no. A little too deep. little too deep. Fuck. We got that the roll. Oh, I was like, I, oh, it, I thought it was gonna be that little bit to the right. I didn't think it was gonna go, but she did. She did. What a putt! Look at this. Justin Thomas thinks he's the only one that can make these putts. No, Sersky. No, he cannot. I can also drain those putts. I guess we'll find out. That is correct. We will find out. here par three wind five miles an hour at our back got a three wood in our hand a big bounce big roll out here is breaking let's go left here off this hill then back right so a tricky one that's a tricky one right there you know that's a very very tricky hole That wind, that wind, that 
win the win. Whoa, Nelly. Whoa, Nelly. Hold up, meow. Oh, shoot. We're going to have a long putt. It's a long putt. Holy smokes. 33 feet downhill. Well, a little uphill, actually. Breaking harder to the left. A little bit that's breaking to the right here. I'd almost null out that little bit. They're going to make that straight. So it's really just this last little bit right here that's breaking to the left by just a tiny, tiny bit. We go right about there. Right about there. Yo, Dustin! What's good, my boy? Oh! Bugger. So close. So close, brother. So close. What's good, Mr. Price? How you doing? How you doing, my boy? Coming in, showing the love. What's good, homie? What you up to? What you up to today? It's Friday. Friday. It's Friday for the people that work Monday to Friday. For the people that don't work Monday to Friday, it is not Friday. Seven miles an hour to the right here. There we go. Beautiful, beautiful shot. Yo, Dustin, my boy, coming in with the heart reaction as well. Let's go, homie. Let's go, my boy. Let's go, my boy. Let's go. Ooh, what do we got? Cameron Champ, 100 yards. Nine iron? What's he got? What's he doing? Oh, 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 he drained it. What a shot, brother. I'm um, just getting kids dropped off at daycare. Now going back home. Oh. Nice. Yeah, home by yourself today, Dustin? What in the world? At home by yourself? Kids are at daycare. You get a nice, relaxing evening by yourself or what, homie? A nice little morning all by your lonesome? That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. Okay, this is going to be a tricky one here. Wind is seven miles an hour to our right. We're going to get a lot of wind. Breaking down to the right as well. We're going to get quite a bit of roll out here. Kind of want to land it like right on the front edge of the green, right about here. We'll go right about there. I'm hoping the wind will take it just that little bit here into this area and then just have it roll up and break in. It's kind of what we're hoping for. It's tracking that way. It's tracking that way. This might be kind of perfect. It hopped to the left, though, which kind of screwed me, but like take that we'll take that good look at eagle here good look at eagle pretty straight a little break to the right not too worried about this we're gonna miss to the right yeah what in the world why did it like it pushed so hard to the right at the start that's crazy that's crazy okay well take that Another birdie. Finish out the round, or that hole. First half, first nine. Seven under, we'll take that. It's a good first first nine. Two stroke lead already. We can hold that, we can hold that and add to it just a little bit. Oh my. Lots of wind, lots of wind here. Take that nice and good too. Look at that. Look at that. Good rollout here. Good rollout. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Stay on the flat stuff. Don't go down here. Take that. Beauty. Got a lob wedge here. Honestly, like, probably right about here. Oh, I think I had that a little too light. It's got to roll. It's got to roll. Don't bite. Don't bite. Don't bite. Roll out. Roll out. Roll out. Roll out. Roll out. <sighs> that just a little bit too light right there. Let's 
gonna miss left. Nope. We'll take that. Good start to the back nine. Good start to the back nine. We'll take that 100% of the time, every time. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> Woo! A little to our left here. So right about there. A bit of a draw on the bad boy. Let her hook that, let her hook that just a little bit. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Sometimes, even if it's a crosswind, it can be a good wind if you hit it at the right angle, play it the right way. It can work out very, very well for you. That's the thing. That's the thing, you know. John standing by. Well, I'm down here following Cameron Champ. We're on the 12th. Is he going to pull out of the bunker here now, too? He just hit like a 100 yard fairway shot into the hole. Is he going to hit another one? Uh, oh, my. Just missed that one. Just missed that one. Yo, what the f just happened to my kick? Just closed out a kick for some reason. What the fuck? Okay. Let's go! I don't know why I just left kick. Yo, V2R coming in with the light. There we go. Oh, oh. Left kick. There you go. So open kick back up. There we go. A whoopsie. Must have hit the wrong button. Yeah, there we go. Six mile an hour wind again. Pitching wedge. Gonna get a little bit more rollout with this bad boy, but we kind of just want it right about there. A little bit of a break to the left, a little bit of wind to the left here as well. So we're going to play it over just a tad bit more, not too much. Look at that wind. Take that, man. Holy smokes. That's crazy. Crazy hard break at the beginning here. Too far. I think right about... There. Oh, thank you. I oh, thank you. Enchanté. Uh huh. Ah oh, oui oui. Uh huh. We'll take that. We'll take that all day. We'll take that all day. What a putt! Just running away with this one, chat. We're running away with this one. Downhill. We, we want to stay away from that water, so we're just going to kind of chill right about, right about, right about there. Oh, we almost hooked that, but we still somehow hit that straight. Okay, we'll take that. Right on the edge of uh, not being good. And we can smash some big bombs on this golf course. What is Justin Thomas doing now? Under a tree and everything else. That's a real good shot, Justin. Real good shot. I'll admit that. I'll admit that that was a good shot by Mr. Uh, Justin Thomas. I'll allow that consensus. Five miles an hour wind at our back. It is a lob wedge, so we're not going to get a whole lot. We're going to get a good first little bounce, and then it's going to bite pretty good. Going a little bit to the right as well, so we're going to play it to the left. Back and right about there. Oh! Son of a gun! We hit the flag stick! Damn it! Why did it not go in the hole? Get in your home, ball! Get in your home! What the? Spirit, well played. Just go ahead and tap this. just tap it in. Just tap it in. Tap it, tap it, tap it, tap it in. Okay, okay. We'll take it. We'll take it. We'll take it. It would have been nice to see that drop, though, but no, no, no luck on that one. 
If I didn't want it to drop, I am kind of running away with this one. Wind right at us. Okay. Interesting. Beautiful. Beautiful shot. Beautiful, just nice. Right down the middle. It was a good look here at this one. Is this a three wood? Brother, we're going driver off the deck. Driver off the deck, letting it roll. Five mile an hour wind, a little bit longer, so we're going to need to play it to the right. Let that wind take it. Give it a little bit of extra oomph here and just let her eat. Look at this. It's need a little bit of a hit right there. Another hit. Now, whoa, 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 whoa. Come on, come on. Stop, stop, stop. Stop ball. Fucking stop. Shoot. 44 foot putt. It's not really breaking all too much. Not super fast, but it's over a long, long period. For like, I don't know. Like that, maybe? We're going to try it. We're going to just try it. I think it's too far left. I think I'm about like eight inches. Not a little bit more. Like, yeah, see, I'm like a foot. Technically Let's go! Feet, but we were close. We were close. That was a close one. We'll take that. Good good, good leg putt. Yo, Dave! What's good, my boy? Dave coming in, showing the love. Mr. Shirik. Dave, I hope I'm saying your name right, brother. I was going to ask you when we did the post-race interviews there on Monday. Is is it Shirik? Is is there a different way I'm supposed to saying it? But I'm I'm, I'm assuming it's like C C Rick C Rick C Rick C Rick. I'm probably murdering it. I'm probably nowhere even close. But uh, I I hope I'm kind of close-ish. Hopefully I'm kind of close. Six mile an hour wind to the left. It's breaking down to the left. So we're gonna play a little bit more to the left here. We're gonna go right about there. We shall roll up nice and snug here. Nice and easy. Okay, okay. Roll out, roll out, roll out. No roll out. No roll out. No H. Okay. No H. C-Rick. 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 Do I have an H in there? C-Rick? C-Rick? Maybe I'm saying it like an H, but I think that might just be my... So uh, I don't know. I don't know. Only good yeah, thing about golf is racing and wrecking the cart. Full send. Brother, 100% it is. 100%. That's the best part. 100%. And you know what? It's the only sport and it's the only Let's time go. that drinking and driving is actually not frowned upon. Okay? So that's kind of a good thing too, you know? It's kind of a good thing. I <laughs> guess you got it now. Okay, okay, okay. I got it now. I got it now. Okay. Want to make sure, okay, this putt is actually not breaking too hard to the left here. Ten-foot putt, uphill. Probably going to bend most of the break here. So I'm thinking right about there. It's about half a cup to the right. This game tries to screw me, but they just can't. They can't do it. I'm just too good. I'm just too good. They can't do it. The 15th, the TPC I got them golf the hacks, okay? I got them golf hacks. What am I doing? I'm not fucking... Yeah, I'm fucking driving the green. What do you think I am here? Come on. However, a good aggressive play here. Must avoid the pot bunkers around the greens. All the big waste area to the left. Okay, hit the hill. Hit the hill right here. Kill all the momentum. Just pop up here. Now, whoa, 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 whoa. That's what I'm talking about, baby. That's what I'm talking about. We're five feet away from the hole, potting for eagle. And it is barely any break. A little bit left edge here. Maybe just a little bit over, not too much. Right about there. Roll that in there. Oh. Oh, we're just getting warmed up, chat. We're just getting warmed up. That one was for you, Dave. That one was for you as well, Justin. That was for the boys. Wowzers.
Mr. Troll coming in with that like on the stream as well. Let's go, baby. Let's go. That's what it's all about right there. I'm not going to lie. That was absolute perfection. Tiger couldn't have done it any better himself if he tried a hundred times. I don't think he would have been any better than that right there. I think that was just picture perfect. Make sure you got enough club. Eight miles an hour wind right into us a little bit to the right. We're just going to kind of play that safe right about there. It's not going to go into the... It's not going to do anything too sporadic. It's just going to go right down the middle of the pipe here. A little bit shorter than we normally drive it because the wind was so strong into us, but good rollout. A little 314-ish area, okay. This is a par five. Oh, my. Did we try it? Did we go for it? I don't know if that wind goes still too far. I think we can overdrive it, though, but we got a three wood. We got to play it back. We got to play it back or else it's going to roll off the green. That's the thing. We need to, like, land here. Kick to the right and then roll off nice and easy. We're going for it. We're sending it. We're just sending it. Uh, my star button is missing. I'm pissed. What? Facebook pulling some bullshit here or what? Justin, what in the world? Uh, homie, try to back out maybe, then come back in. Sometimes that works. Or if you want, uh, I don't know if you want to send 50 stars or whatever else. There is another option as well. You can hit that button, which should pop up for the subscriber button. You can become a part of the Peacemaker Sub Club become one of the brand new subscribers here on the channel we're gonna start doing some uh, subscriber only uh, games here as well we're gonna start doing some golfing we're gonna start doing some racing we're gonna start doing a few different things here subscribers only you guys absolutely earn it man coming in showing the love month after month after month we're gonna get a lot of other people in as well for some follower games we're just gonna be trying to do some crazy stuff, some crazy stuff here. This is breaking pretty hard to the right. It is 26 feet downhill. It's gonna roll out and break hard at the very end for how slow this is gonna be moving. We're gonna go a little bit farther to the left and just see what happens. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, we were like an inch off there. Not even, like, that was so close. Tap in, birdie. Move on to the next hole. Minus 15. That's our target area right there. We like that minus 15 area. Justin Thomas. Justin Thomas doing on the 16th. His shot. Oh, he oh he went into the water probably right here and had to drop there. What a save for par. Wow. He's been chipping like crazy this whole round. That's like the third or fourth pilot we've had him chipping in. Good for him. Good for Justin, bro. Not gonna lie. Good for him. A 10 shot lead. We're sitting pretty. We're sitting pretty. Cameron Champ is my rival. Okay, okay. Downhill par three, seven miles. Five hybrid. He's gonna get some big roll here. He needed to land like here. Do we need to go back a little bit more here? We need to land like here, then roll out. But that wind, I'm assuming, is going to go pretty good to the left here. We're going to go like right there. Right there. We're just going to try that see what happens. Got to go for it. A little bit of a draw to help it out. Now it's got to hit good and get woed up here in a quick, quick hurry. Woe up. Woe up. Woe up. Settle down, ball. Settle down. Okay, not bad. It's gonna leave us a decent putt uphill here, so not bad, not bad, not bad. A little break here, not too much break, but a good little bit, especially at the end there. We're gonna actually go right about there. There. We're not second guessing it. Fuck. It did not break that much at all. Not even close, okay, well. Far putt, we'll take it. We'll take it. <laughs> oh, now you are trying to get uh, me to ide to indefinitely give you dollars. I'm just messing. I'm just messing. Hey, I'm just giving you another option. I'm just giving you another option. It is actually fairly easy to cancel the subscriptions as well. It's not super hard. It's not like, I don't even know what, what's a hard one, like credit cards, I guess. I don't know. What's a subscription-based thing that's actually hard to get out of? 
Netflix maybe? I don't know, Disney Plus? I don't know. I haven't uh, canceled any of those subscriptions, so I don't even know what's actually hard to cancel. Maybe like those, oh, Dollar Beard Club? My buddy had that Dollar Beard Club uh, thing. It took him forever to get out of that. But it's not like that. It's not like that. Facebook's actually pretty decent with it. Luckily enough. Just beyond the gully, which you've got to drive. Make sure you avoid those bunkers on the right side. They give you a good iron into this green. Well, I, I know I've cancelled that piece subs. Okay, okay, okay. So you know it's not too bad. I would say it's fairly easy. Like I, I haven't actually had to go too far through it, but it seemed like it was it was pretty easy. Couple buttons, boom, 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 done. No biggie. What did I just do? Oh, I just clubbed down. Kinda like that actually. Little gap wedge, a little less roll, but we do have quite a bit of wind into us. So we actually kind of want to back up, play it around there. Gonna come back pretty good. Gonna come back pretty good. Yo, Justin, my boy Justin, Dole coming in, becoming the brand new peacemaker subscriber, coming in, hitting that sub button. Let's go, my boy. Let's go, homie. Much love, my boy. Coming in, showing the love. You didn't have to do that, my boy. You didn't have to do that. I just wanted to give you the option. But, man, welcome to the Peacemaker Sub Club. You should get the automatic invite to the actual Peacemaker Sub Club community group where it's just me and the subscribers and you. And it's a pretty cool little awesome place. We want to start doing a lot more stuff there and start doing some, uh, some cool stuff again. We really want to start focusing more and more and more on trying to build that subscriber count up. Because that's really what we're going to base our uh, our possibility of possibly going full-time. And if we're going full-time, and I'm talking, we're doing, we're doing long-ass streams day after day after day. Maybe taking like a Saturday off or something. But I think Saturdays are going to be really big. We're going to probably do, you know, some games in the morning and stuff. And then at nighttime, we want to be, you know, if we ever do go full-time, it will be games and stuff in the morning. Maybe a little bit through the afternoon. And then a lot of, uh, you know, just cool content with the uh, uh, real life racing. We want to be able to go to the racetrack, get some cool footage, some interviews with drivers, especially drivers that you guys don't know, but maybe have the potential to, you know, make some trips here and there. Maybe go see some World of Outlaws stuff, get some cool interviews and, you know, just some cool videos of some of the actual World of Outlaw drivers and some of the local drivers, you know, some of the guys that are part of this that also race that may be in that same area as you know, we got a lot of guys, uh, you know, here in Ontario and Canada and stuff like that that are part of the Peacemaker crew and everything else. They're the local guys that I knew and I've grown up with at the racetrack. But it'd be cool to get down to New York, Pennsylvania, stuff like that, see some of those places, see some of those racers that are running down in those areas too. So it'd be pretty cool. Pretty exciting stuff. Pretty exciting stuff. So it's going to be interesting to see what, uh, what we can do there with that. We're just going to play with this one here a little bit and see what happens. We didn't want that full speed. There we go. Chosen the pitching range here. 48 hour in reverse. Oh, brother. Could you imagine? Could you imagine? Oh, we got no rollout of that. Or else that would have been perfect. That would have been perfect if we got some rollout. Now, I've been thinking of, uh, of a race, actually. I've been thinking of a race. I, I want to do it. I want to try to get, you know, maybe a couple of the other boys that may be streaming stuff, too. Because I would like to have, like, their perspectives for some videos and stuff. But I'm thinking of doing, like, a duos race. Like, get some... No, uh, a spotter in a, a racer and then do like a 20 lap or a 30 lap race uh, with like the pro four trucks or pro two trucks on one of those road course races but the racer has to be blindfolded and the guy that's the like the uh the, the spotter has to spot for the other driver to like tell him like when to turn and what to do kind of deal and you know just kind of stuff like that i think that would be pretty cool I think that'd be pretty cool. That'd be pretty funny. I think it'd make some for some great content, some great laughs, some great fun. I think it'd be something that would be really neat to try to do and uh, maybe see if we can get a sponsor or something on board to like throw out like prize money for, you know, whoever ends up winning it kind of deal. Just like a free to enter kind of thing. Maybe have, you know, five or six, maybe seven, you know, cars out there with spotters and, uh, you know, just we got we to gotta make sure that like whoever's actually the, that's competing against us we got to make sure that they have their blindfold on so that's one big thing that we need so i think if the person that's driving has to be streaming like at least has to have a webcam hooked up on like discord or something so like we can see it and we can see what's happening and as much as i want to do it too it'd be fun to kind of broadcast that and try to like 
commentate it, but I might be able to do that afterwards. I might be able to, like, do the race and commentate their streams on what they're doing and everything else. I think that'd be something really funny. Like a 30-lap off-road trucks, blindfolded race. I think that would that would be some pretty good content. I think that'd be some pretty good content right there. What do you think? What's your guys' idea on that? What do you guys feel? Feel like that's pretty good or what? I feel like that's pretty good. Oh, that's way too far right. What the fuck am I doing? Okay, well. We'll take that, we'll take that. <laughs> I drive a semi, I win? Yeah, you definitely win. You definitely win. We thought about getting some of those uh, those trucker games too. Maybe doing some early morning streams, just chill vibes. Trucking, just hauling some corn or some furniture or something here or there or wherever across the states, you know? That'd be something pretty cool. I'd be kind of interested in maybe getting into that. I have a couple buddies that stream that and they have a lot of fun doing it, so be able to hook something up with doing that with them too, so that'd be kind of kind of neat. But really, I think the blindfolded race, I think that would be like a ton of fun. A ton of fun. I think honestly that would be like just an absolute blast. It'd be absolutely hilarious and everything else. Uh, that would be cool or like uh, cruiser style, like I drive my kid, uh, runs the pedals. Yeah, that'd be all right, but I don't have any kids, so that one's a little tough for me. And I also, I don't really, like, not huge on having children on stream and stuff, too, right? Like, I don't know. That one would be all right. Like, it would be kind of fun, but, like, I don't know. Like, cruiser style. So, like, I drive, my kid runs the pedals. Like, that would be fun, but, like, it'd be hard to, be hard to tell kind of deal. We might be able to do something like that, maybe, but, like... I don't know. I'm just not huge on huge on kids on on being on stream. But I mean, obviously, if the parents agree to it and everything else, then like I'm I'm in the clear. But like I don't know. There's just, there's a lot of fucking weirdos out there. And when it comes to like kids and video cameras or live streams or anything else like that, I'm kind of like just stay away from it. Not even put myself in that situation where like Hello, it could be twisted in a certain way or. You know, anything else, you know, we kind of just kind of stay in our lane with it, you know, just kind of stay in our lane with that one. The final round here, Rich. Should be a lot of nerves. They got the lead, but it's sleeping at it overnight. That is never an easy thing to do. They think I'm nervous. I got like a 15 shot lead here going into the final round. I can literally bogey like every fucking hole and still win this round and still win this tournament like what are they thinking what are they thinking totally chill i'm the chillest i'm the illest i'm just absolutely set and ready to go the game is coming easy to this player right now so no reason not to believe they can't do it again this week That was close. That was close. Well, I mean, anyone, uh, not necessarily kids per se. Okay, yeah. Okay, see, that would be all right. That would be okay. Maybe, like, uh, husband and wife or something. Try to set something up with, like, husband and wife. I don't have a wife either or a girlfriend to do it, but I could commentate it and have, like, the video camera of, you know, both people kind of deal. Like, it'd be neat to just have, like, a... Like, you know, have, like, a side view of it where, like, you kind of can see, like, both of them kind of messing with the pedals and the steering wheel. So you can kind of see both their reactions and see what they're seeing, see what they're doing kind of deal. That'd be something kind of fun. That'd be something kind of fun to do. I'd be in for that, too. That'd be something neat. It'd be interesting to see how many people we could get to do it. Because it'd be nice to have, like, at least, you know, you want to at least have a few cars on the racetrack. So, like, five or six or so. Not very long. I mean what a 20 30 lap race i mean it's not like there's a lot of people there to you know it's not like it's gonna take very long but i mean it could with the, you know the carnage and the wrecking and everything else so you know it, it could be a nice little hour or so and some setup time and whatever else i think it'd be kind of fun i think that'd be something we could definitely set up Wow, 
on rollout, rollout, rollout. Well, that certainly makes putting a lot easier when you can hit a shot like that. This one here. This it does. It does. It does make it very easy. I'm not going to lie. Risky little bunker shot. What's Champ this? doing here? Out of the bunker. He's eyeing it down. Ooh. Ooh. Nice. I felt loud. My kid was a uh, was in demos uh, with me on iRacing. Okay, that's cool. That's cool. That's kind of neat. Fairly straight. A little break to the left. Not much here. We're just gonna go right edge and roll with it. There we go. Perfect. Beautiful. 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 Another birdie. That's pretty neat, though. That's pretty neat. I don't, I mean, I don't know. I'd probably feel a little bit more okay with, like, doing stuff like, you know, having, you know, videos like that with, like, having the community and their kids and everything else and, like, even just having my kids. I don't have any kids, so it's like, I don't know. It just, yeah, I don't know. Just, you know, it's, it's just a, I, I like to be very safe. If you know what I mean, right? Like, I just, I don't like to put myself, not even just myself, I don't like putting my career, right? My persona, the stream, everything else, like, in that kind of light with anything to do with kids. Like, I just try to stay as far away from that as possible. Even really racing a lot, like, or anything else. Like, I don't mind racing if there's, you know, a 12 year old that's racing and I racing or whatever. Like, it's no big deal. Like, if he's in a league or whatever else, or even like the interviews, you know, I try to, like, Try to be very careful with how I word things or anything else, and just you know, it's certain certain little things, you know, just certain little things, just to be, you know, this day and age, anything and everything can get you canceled in a quick hurry. So it's like, do you risk it? Do you risk it for the brisket and do something? But like, as, as nice as it would be, like it's, it's just I don't know if it's worth it all the time. You know, I don't know. It's one of those things. One of those things. Seven iron right here. Big first bounce. This rolling back just a little bit here, but we're gonna go right about there. Yeah, with the seven. Oh, dude, I understand. Yeah, yeah, hundred percent. I know you guys all understand it. It's it's pretty plain and simple to see. I mean, it's kind of it's hard not to not see that, right? And just. As much as I would always love to do that stuff, it's just, you know, it's just you don't want to put yourself in that situation. That's it. That's all it is. That's a break and a half, brother. That's a heck of a break for a 13-foot putt. Damn, bro. Damn, bro. Right, right. Oh, oh, the confidence builder. We're feeling it. We're on fire today. We're, we're feeling it. We're feeling pretty good today, chat. I'm not going to lie. We're feeling pretty good. Yesterday, we felt pretty good as well, but today is even better. I have a sneaky suspicion we're going to see at least one hole at one day. If not, I'm going to lose it. I'm going to flip my desk over. I'm going to lose my mind. We need that hole in one. It's like one of the only things. We haven't hit an albatross yet either. We hit the flag stick a couple mornings ago, but didn't go in. But we hit the flag stick for the albatross. We want to do that again, but we want to get one of those, and we want to get we want to get that hole in one. That's the big thing. It's that hole in one. Always a good way to start. Let's see where they go from here. Lob wedge is gonna bite pretty good after the first hop. Wind is gonna take it forward and to the left a bit. To go right about there. Right about there. Oh, this one should find the surface. Good shot, this. Ooh, I guess when didn't take it as much as I thought it would. Interesting. Interesting. But this is pretty damn straight. You could take it like one little tap to the left there and just let it roll. Okay. We could not have set that up any easier, honestly. Wouldn't have been set up any easier. Still in the lead now after that hole. 
The lead is getting bigger and bigger. Bigger and bigger, bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger. Every single fucking, every, every last shot, every last shot. That's what we like to see. That's what we like to see. Ladies and, ladies and gentlemen, if you guys are just tuning in, make sure y'all hit that like button on the stream. Hit that share button. Hit that follow button if you're new here. If you're watching over on YouTube, make sure you smash that subscribe button as well as we continue to grow more and more and more. I don't know what button I just fucking hit, but I hit something. Blow, Leafs, blow. Oh, yeah, baby. You know it, Curtis. You know it, my boy. Listen, anyone that likes, that they doesn't like the Leafs is a, is, is a, is a okay with me, not gonna lie. I can despise the Leafs. So I'm I'm totally fine with them not doing anything. Totally fine with them not doing anything, you know? I love it. I absolutely love it. This is a fucking six iron. We're gonna get a good roll out here, but we don't wanna hit this edge too hard. Like right about there. We need Let's this go. hole in one. We need this hole in one hundred percent here. So we gotta take this very precautious here. We go like right there. It's gonna get blown back a little bit. Probably land about here. A good jump. I think we're just a little tad to the right more. Right there. We're just gonna go right there. Don't affect it that much. Wind. Oh man, the wind blew it so much. I literally have three miles an hour of wind the hole before it moves it not any but then this one it moves it by a whole bunch and it's like zero and one you camera champ you're only minus one you bitch he's my rival i got to i got a shit talk him. got a shit talk him. curtis curtis coming in with that like on the stream let's go my boy yeah 100 as as an ontario person from ontario canada there's so many Leafs fans here, and there's so like there's so many of them that are pretty, yeah, you know, obnoxious. And you hear it year after year after year about how good the team is. You hear about it in October. You hear about it in November, December, January, February. That like, this is our year. The team's so good. The team's so good. And then you know, we have to listen to that so long that you know we get so tired of it. And then we see them lose in the first round, or we see them not make the playoffs, and it's just like it's such a good feeling. The you know the 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 uh, euphoria or what whatever you want to call it. What is it that that just feeling of relief and like of like it just feels so good, like utopia of just you know them not accomplishing what everyone knows that they should be able to do or anything else. It's just such a good fucking feeling. I love it so much. It literally that's what brings me joy is Toronto not winning. That's what brings me joy. Not going to lie. Not going to lie. Okay, this is a slight break to the right. Not very much. We're going to go probably left edge. I think that's about left edge right there. We're just going to let it roll. See what happens. Let's go. Let's go. What a shot. What a roll. It's easy. It's too easy. It's too easy. We're going we're gonna to probably... Bring the uh, the difficulty even up a little a little farther. A little farther, I think we're gonna take it up. Oh my god, I keep literally hitting that same fucking button. I don't even know what that is. Oh my god, it's the share, the stream, the subscriber goal. Oh my gosh, chat, ignore that. If I click off my uh, off the screen and go to like change screens or anything up here, it just automatically clicks that. And then I keep hitting the space bar to see where I'm shooting the ball or whatever else, and it's connected to the internet and then. It's all fucked up. It keeps prompting that. Disregard it. Disregard it. Unless if you guys want to become a subscriber, then don't disregard that. But we'll take that right down the middle. Right down the middle. We'll take that all day. Good shot. Good shot. Same spot as yesterday. Looking for miles an hour. Nine iron. Good first little bounce. A little bit of roll out, but that wind is going to draw back quite a bit. We're going to go right at the flag stick, but it is a little bit of a bend to the right there on the green. So we're going to pull it back just a tad right there. Opting for the nine iron. Just got this thing dialed in here. Looking good. Oh, son of a That's bitch! Why don't you go to your home ball? Go to your home! 
We'll take it though. Six birdies in a row. It's pretty good. Not gonna lie. That's that's pretty decent. Pretty decent. We got a good good feeling that we can we can go we can make this one go. Go Leafs, kidding. I hate hockey. What do you, you hate hockey? What in the world? No, you don't hate hockey, Justin. You love the Philadelphia Flyers. Okay? You love the Flyers. Come on. No go Leafs. It's all go Philadelphia, baby. Not this year, but next year. Or maybe a couple years, you know? Something like that. I should find the fairway. That's what I wanted to hear because I didn't think it was going to. I thought it was going to hit the rough and stay in the rough, but we're good. Perfect. One win so far this season. What a shot. For number two here today. What a shot. This is a lob wedge. One decent first bounce. A little bit of wind, though. A little bit of a break to the right. We're going to go right about there. Let's dunk this. Come on. Put it in the hole. Put it in the hole. Yes! Oh, baby! Oh my gosh! Certainly worth another look. Certainly worth another look, baby. Let's go. Look at this. Put us to minus 23 on the tournament here. Absolutely clear plonk, bottom of the cup, in the hole. Let's go. Let's go. That's what's up right there. Action all over the course. What's Justin Thomas doing? He's chipping out for par. Oh, a bonker shot. That's good. Go, Wayne Gretzky. Go, Gretzky, baby. No, no, he's retired. He's been retired for a long time, Justin. Okay, he's been retired for a long time. Like, when I think of... Gretzky, I'm thinking, you know, that young baby face wearing a Jofa helmet, you know, with no padding, no nothing, putting up a 200 points a season. That's the Wayne Gretzky I remember. But, like, Wayne Gretzky now is just an absolute old man. It's sad to see, but it's just how life is. Just how life is, unfortunately. Still the greatest. He is still the greatest. 100% can agree with that. Still the greatest. Whoa, ball. Whoa, ball. Whoa, ball. Oh, shoot. Yeah, I don't even know. I, like, no one's breaking his record, bro. No one is ever going to break majority of Wayne Gretzky's records. I think Ovi, if Ovi can still play for, like, another four years, put up some decent numbers. I'm talking 25, maybe 30 goals. Not his 40 goal seasons. Like, he put up 42 or 43 goals this year. That's pretty dang good. But, I mean, if he can do, you know, three, four years, get in that 30 goal area, he'll break Gretzky's for like the most goals all time by any player, which would be really, really cool. I don't think the NHL wants him to because I'm sure they want that to be held by a Canadian, not a Russian. So I don't know if they'll actually allow a Vexkin to actually break that record. But like, I think Ovi should have a good opportunity to break that record, which would be really, really cool to see, especially in our lifetime, because we'll probably never see it happen again. I don't think Matthews will get there. I don't think, you know, McDavid will ever get there. I don't think they'll get to that point of actually breaking, you know, that, you know, 794 goal plateau for their career. I think Let's they're go. You know, maybe 600 goal scorers, but I don't think they're going to be too much higher than that. I mean, Matthews, maybe. Matthews might be like a 700, but I don't think he'll break it. But, I mean, anything can happen. Yo, Dylan, Mr. Murray coming in, showing the love. Good morning, boss man. Good morning, Dylan. Good morning, my boy. Actually, if you guys didn't know either, before I really did what I do now and before I did this stuff, I was actually a golf course superintendent. So I actually know everything there is really about growing grass, cutting grass, and making these uh, making these golf courses look as beautiful as they do, you know. That was my uh, that was my career years ago. Did that for about seven years. I started when I was about 15, working at a golf course. Went about three years until I uh, graduated high school. Then I took a short course to become a superintendent. Then I was a superintendent at a couple different golf courses there for probably about 
fuck, I want to say three, no, no, four years? Four years? Almost five years? Yeah, four years, almost five years. The fifth year, I don't really count because, like, I was only there for a little bit and then I dipped. But, uh, yeah, it was, uh, it was a good time. It was a good time. So, yeah, about seven or eight years of uh, working at golf courses. Yeah, jeez. That was, uh, that was fun times. Fun times. Fun times at Ridgemont High, you know? Big chance here. No. Should have went farther left. I knew it. I knew it. I just kind of second guessed myself, brought it back to the right there a little bit. That was just not what we needed right there, but we'll take it. Momentum, Motain, uh, you know, we, we had the eagle on the last hole, so we can get a par there and still be okay. We're okay with that. This would be a great up and down from this spot. I mean, like, that was a pretty straightforward, easy chip. That's not like that was, like, too crazy. Come on. Come on, now. That wasn't too absolutely challenging. He wasn't even in a bunker or anything. He's, like, greenside fairway and, like, in 20 yards away from the hole, not even, like, 10 yards from the hole. B -b 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 bomb, baby! Look at that. Perfect shot. Absolutely beautiful. Oh, yeah, we're going for it. We're going for it. A little bit of wind. You need to land it front edge here, but we need to kind of roll up almost. Even the shorter hitters can knock it on with no sweat whatsoever. Big bounce, big bounce. Now, whoa up, whoa up, whoa up. Stop rolling. For the love of God, quick. Still a chance, but I don't know how much I like these odds. This is breaking pretty good to the left. A little bit back to the right at the end, but not a whole, whole lot here. So close, so close. Twenty-six minus nine from the front nine. We'll take that. We'll take that. Take that. Was that seven birdies, one eagle, one par? That's a pretty picture perfect scorecard. Not gonna lie. Not gonna lie. We'll take that all fing day, baby. 104% power. Big power right there, baby. Looks to me, Rich, that this player has a ton of confidence. Ton of confidence. Right Ton of confidence. To straight off their last start. He knows it. They're he knows have it. To make some birdies coming down the closing stretch, but they have a lot of good vibes coming from that last win. I expect more of the same this week. Oh, oh, oh. oh. We are definitely moving in the right direction, chat. Position on the leaderboard, and I don't know if the rest of the field is up for catching them here today in this final round of action. I've literally got eight holes left. You think I'm gonna give up fucking 16 the strokes? It's so literally a double bogey every hole, just for them to tie me. It ain't gonna happen, Captain.
Around 100 yards here, 9 iron, good little first bounce, a little bit of wind break, a little bit of, uh, it's already going to the right on that, we're going to go right about there. Okay, oh shit, right I almost pulled that. Well, they'd love a little bounce to the right here. Yes I would, yes I would. Well pulled that, just the ever so slightly. Ever so slightly, we pulled it, pulled it a little long, a little hard. This game today has been absolutely sublime fun to watch. It's tracking. We'll take that. We'll take that. That was a decent little pot. We'll take that 100%. Well, guys, I'm down on the 13th hole. This is Justin Thomas prepping his next shot. Time for the fifth shot. What's JT doing? Ooh, he's going to dunk it. Nice. Good shot. Good shot, Justin Thomas. Let's take a look at the leaderboard as it stands. As it stands. Time to make a move. The tea is yours here at the 12th hole. And after that par, we're looking for something good here. Just quickly changing some stuff over on here for 2K21 comments, and we'll save that. Well, somebody just did something. Uh oh, we're starting to hear roars from another part of the course. We are hearing some roars. What's going on? Who did something nice? Don't tease us like that. Someone's out there hitting some bombs, and we don't even know what's going on. They're catching up to us or something, chat. We need to run away with this even more. We can't allow them to catch us. We can't allow them to catch us, chat. It's 100% a no-no. They cannot. They're not allowed to get anywhere close to what we're at. They're not allowed to get anywhere close. It's disallowed. Not allowed. No shot. Quality well, shot that one. This, a ago. The impressive well, this is the roar. Do the roar! <laughs> My man, you're a uh, man. You are a beast. Uh, I'll be 24 plus. Laugh out loud. Oh yeah, yeah. I mean, it's it's on easy mode. I, I'm trying to use mouse and keyboard, Kirk. I'm trying to use mouse and keys. So we're trying to learn that compared to controller. So so don't feel too upset, my boy. This was on like the whole extreme mode, like the online stuff is. I would be right there with you, probably. I'd probably be right there with you. So don't feel too bad about that one. Prompt for that goddamn thing again, bro. All right. Wind three miles an hour east, so it's a little right and a little forward. So we're gonna play it back. Got a gap wedge, so decent first bounce. No, not a lot of roll out here. Wind's gonna draw it over quite a bit. Lost the angle that is coming. We're gonna go right about there. See what we can do there with that one. Ah, we could have. That's all right. We'll take that. We'll take that. Six foot. Six footer here. Right on six feet. I think that's a little bit, yeah, I was going to say, yeah, it's, I want like half a cup more to the left there. I should have went with it. Didn't go with my gut on that one. Put it in. Nice par, nice par. Back-to-back -back pars there. 
We'll take that. We'll take that. We want to hit a 50, though, or something. You know, we want to get close to a 59 area on the round. I think that's kind of what we're hoping for. But, you know, who knows what will happen. Who knows what will happen. It could go there. could not go there. We'll see what we can do. We'll see what we can do. Wind, three miles an hour to the left. That's going to be east still. Play nice and safe. Right about there is pretty good. Wind did not take that very much again. Didn't really fucking us the last little while. Been really, really messing with us, man. The wind has been pretty fast, but it's been pretty dormant, honestly. There we go, driver of three wood here. I don't. Driver went a little too far last time, so I'm thinking three wood should get us there. Maybe like a little bit of extra power. Wind's gonna push it forward as well to the left a little bit. Kind of hit this ridge perfectly. Can roll right up. Right about there. Oh, it landed so soft. Roll, 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 roll. We, oh, we had such a good plan. Just need like 20 more feet there. Like eight yards. Gosh dang it. Okay, well, well, you can see what's happening here. Not a lot of movement there at the flag stick. So we're just going to go a little bit to the right here. I'm going to roll out and bite. So we're going to go right about there. Yeah, baby. Woo. Eight days a week. It always works eight days a week. Just like me in real life. Eight days a week. Always works. What a chip. Nice little eagle. That's what we needed right there. That's what we needed right there. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that perfect roll right in the bottom of the cup. Let's go. And still in top spot after that hole. Keep it going. And I don't know if the rest of the field is up for catching them here today in this final round of action. Well, they should be high on confidence stepping onto the tee now after that eagle at the line. All right, y'all. This is our hole in one hole right here. This is where we get it. This is the hole in one. We're calling it right now. If we hit this, make sure you follow. Make sure you hit that like button on the on the video and make sure make sure you hit that share button. We're draining this right here right now. Eight iron. One mile an hour wind going a little bit north and a little bit there. Excitement in the air. It's starting to build. Oh, look at that bounce. What was that? That was lined up perfectly. That hop, bro. Man, that does. All right, well, Bryson, what's he doing here? Oh, oh, hits the flag stick. He got lucky on that. I was going like at least six yards, seven yards past the hole there. That was coming out of there quick. Good look at Birdie, though. He wanted that hole in one badly. God dang it. Wow, what? What do you mean it was on a good line? It literally started going in at the right of the cup, not even to the left where we were aiming. What the f was that? God damn, we'll take the par though. Fuck. Gosh dang it. Gosh dang it, chat. They hate us, bro. Off now on a short par four. Do you attack it and try and increase your lead, or do you lay back and play safe? We're going like for this shit. It, what do they like to do? I don't think we need extra speed, but the wind's gonna pull it back just a little bit. Breaking down to the left here through the middle part, then back down to the right. So honestly, we're gonna go right about there. Might give it I don't think we even want to give it an extra yard, but I think we're gonna give it just that extra little bit here. Bold. 
Come on, roll up, roll up, roll up, roll up. Wow, we needed a little bit more. Really? I just love the aggressive play there, Rich. Okay. Just a missile. Gonna gave that 102 or so. Right onto the green. Oh God, what's Champ doing here? Get out of here, Cameron. Good shot. Good shot, good shot. Can't argue with him on that one. That was a decent shot. He did go bogey bogey there. <laughs> Loser. Just kidding. John, uh, how long's this putt? It seems to be a fair way. I think this is right around 32 feet or so to the cup. Pretty fast here for the first little bit. Slows down on the break up there. I think she's going to come out pretty hot, though. I'm thinking right about there for a long period. Did not break a whole, whole lot. And wow, is it going to go six feet behind the hole there? What the shit? It was literally the perfect line, just too hard by six feet. That's crazy. That is crazy. Take it. Good birdie. We got three holes left. A par five. We can maybe get another eagle. A par three. Maybe a hole in one. We can hit that minus 30 area is where we're re really, really looking to go. That's normally where we like to be is that minus 30. Nice birdie at the last. Let's see what they can produce here. One hundred and five power. Woo! Clear three hundred in the air there, almost, and about thirty yards of roll out. Take that. It's time to head back down to the fairways, John. What's up, mate? What's up, mate? What's up, mate? This is Bryson DeChambeau. Oh, the shot! What a roll! Shot, Bryson. Good shot, good shot, good chip. That was a tough angle. That was a tough angle. Let's get back to it, shall we? The 16th hole at TPC Summerlin is the final. Five hybrid. Just gonna get a little bit of a roll. We do have wind right into our face here. Obviously, no hope leaving it short with your second shot in the water at 16. So most players bailing out, hitting it just over this green. If they draw a decent line, they can chip it close, make birdie. However, not so easy. And there's a couple of low areas in greenside bunkers to deal with long of this green. We'll take that. We'll take that. We'll take that. We'll take that all day. All day. All day. All day. Nice little easy putt here. A good day. A good day to you, sir. That's what we needed. Two holes to go, Luke. Can they hang minus 30, the dirty 30. Bryson DeChambeau just went to minus nine, tied for P2 on the field. 17th hole. Wins three miles forward, six iron. I don't know, can we get there with a five? No, I think the five is gonna be a little short. So we're gonna have to go with the six. Wind's going to help it quite a bit. It is quite a ways downhill. Thinking right about here. Going to get some good rollout, too, on it. Looks to be going with the six on. Man, look how much that wind took it. Great line. Great line. Just... The wind just took it so much. Going to the right pretty good there at the end. It's going to be real tight. I think it's going to be a little too far left, but nope. It's let her eat, baby. Let her eat. Let's go. 
all day. Sometimes you got to be a little bit more lucky than good out there on the course. You know, sometimes you got to be a little bit more lucky than good. Yo, Jassy, what is good? Is it just me or is this some really, really weird looking racing? Uh, JK, uh, good morning, brother. Four. What's good, Jassy, my boy? It, it's it's a race. It's a race to see who can get to uh, to the trophy at the end of the rounds. You know, that's that's what the big race is. You know, it's more of a rat race than a race car race. More of a rat race, you know. But uh, man, good morning to yourself, man. Hopefully you're having yourself a wonderful morning. Hopefully you're having yourself a great day already. Early, early. I mean, well, early for me. I mean, I suppose. But uh, these are the things we want to start doing, man. We want to start uh, getting on a little bit earlier. We want to start doing some more community games, some more subscriber-only games. We want to start just doing some cool, cool things uh, and some different games as well. And we're just trying to get more and more content out there, even if I'm, uh, you know, getting less sleep or whatever else. It's all about getting that content out there and continuing to grow, continuing to build, you know, that the viewership, continuing to build, you know, the followers and the subscribers on YouTube, on Facebook, on Kick, on everywhere, and continuing to just, you know, keep reaching more and more people. And the only way you can really reach more people on a consistent basis is, you know, you gotta, you gotta do some different things. Gotta change it up a little bit here and there. You know, you gotta just kind of. Change it up ever so slightly. That's what we've been doing. Trying some different things. Having some fun. Playing some different games. Hoping to, uh, you know, see some cool things happen here. Okay, we'll take that. I wanted a little bit more rollout. I didn't think the wind would affect it too much. But, uh, it's a mid. It's okay. Making a little bit to the left. Not too bad. We're going to go a little bit past right edge here. Just a little bit past it. Not too much. Right down the middle, right down the pipe, right into the bottom of the cup. That's all she wrote. Championship in the bag right there with another birdie. Minus 32 on the round. Wowzers. That's a fucking fist bump right there. Oh, yeah, baby. And Rich, mark that down as one of the outstanding wins we'll see this season. Yes, definitely mark it down. One of the most outstanding ones, 100%. Their fellow competitors because the Shriers these players are hospitals really for children this open champion everybody in the field look very, very good. so good was their performance Aaron Tiger Woods well, picking up the win here once again that's how we get it done that's how everything is done and another victory a 22 shot lead no doubt about it they weren't catching us they had no chance in hell Rice and DeChambeau coming up and taking second place away, though, from Keegan Bradley. That's cool. Where did my... It doesn't show me where my rival finished because he wasn't top 10. What a bitch. No, I'm just kidding. Yeah. Our rival wasn't up there. He wasn't good enough to be in the uh, top 10, so sucks to be him. He wants to be a rival. He can be a rival. You, you champ. No bogey round, best hole minus two, so we tied on those. But man, a five check mark right there. It's a lot of rival points. Get some, son. Get some. You have one of your rivalry with Cameron Champ. Oh, we unlocked a driver and a hundred bucks. We have a new rival with Jim Furick. Jimbo wants the smoke, eh? Jimbo wants the smoke. He's gonna get it. He's going to get it. That old man isn't going to know what hit him. That old man is not going to know what hit him when it comes to, you know, facing me and in, in, in a rivalry. He's going to be praying, praying just to get out of here, you know, just praying to get out of there with, you know, something half decent. He's going to be in for uh, gonna be in for a treat. That's for certain. He's going to be in for a treat. All right, let's get this next round going. Let's get this next round going, chat. Let's get it. Let's get it. Let's get it. Listen, if you guys are just tuning in, man, make sure you guys all smash that like button on the stream. Hit that share button. Hit that follow button. And, uh, you know, if you're watching on YouTube, hit that subscribe button. Drop a couple comments. Say hello. Say good morning. And, uh, you know, help the stream grow that much more with the conversation. Jesse says, uh, scared to even ask, what's your NFL team? Brother. Brother. I mean, it should be pretty explanatory. You know, you look at the hat. You look at uh, you look at the banner in the pack. We got some napkins and some other flyer stuff over there. 
You know that we're an Eagles fan, my boy. You know we're an Eagles fan. We bleed green and orange in this household and a little bit of red because that's what color blood actually is. But uh, unfortunately, all fucking all three teams couldn't be the same color. Even the 76ers. At least the 76ers have a little bit of red in it, but they're blue and white for the most part. Son of a gun. Come on. They got to get on the same page and be like the same color the whole way through. Well, you know we're an Eagles fan, my boy. As much as I don't really watch too much football, I don't watch a whole, whole lot of football. That is that is the team that I do cheer for. That I do hope wins whenever they play. You know, that's that's the team. That's the team that we go for, you know. And let's see what he can do here today. Good solid tee shot. Get the day started nice and easy. That's all we needed. Stay in breezy right there. A little bit of a break here. What do we got? Six iron. So we're going to get a little bit of a roll out here. So we're going to go right about there. Back just a little bit more right there. Going with the six iron here. That's why I was scared to ask, unsubbed, but GG's, oh my gosh, come on now, don't be like that, don't be like that. <laughs> JK, uh, I'm good, I'm a good old uh, Carolina boy, a good old Carolina boy, hey, little little Florida Panthers, hey, little Florida Panthers. Or not Florida Panthers, what am I thinking? Carolina Panthers. Thinking the wrong sport, I'm thinking Carolina because they smoked the Toronto Maple Leafs last night, that's what I'm thinking of. Carolina Panthers, Carolina Panthers, not the Florida Panthers we got here a little bit of a break to the left at the start still breaking a little left here pretty even though starts to come back to the right a little right slowly moving to the right but not enough to aim too far off the hole here honestly we're gonna go a little bit there maybe right edge That's how we get it done here, chat. It's nothing but good strokes right down the middle of the hole here. Absolutely perfect. What is this, a 24-foot putt? All day. All day. Currently one under for the tournament. I can't ever recall him making that was a beautiful. birdie. That was beautiful. About it, so yes, that was beautiful. That was honestly, first, great job. not going to lie, that was pretty perfect, okay? That was pretty perfect. One of these days when we get good enough at Milks and Key to play on this, we're going to have to take on Dr. Disrespect or something, you know. We're going to have to get us some sort of a challenge and uh, maybe play the dog in a round or two. Maybe get a little challenge against him, you know. See if uh, if he can beat me in PGA. We'll go head-to-head -head in PGA. Then we'll go head-to-head -head in uh, Dead Drop. And then maybe like a little head-to-head -head in Call of Duty. A little head-to-head -head in Fortnite. Come on, Doc, Mr. Disrespect, set it up, set it up. What do they want me to lay up? I'm not gonna lay up. Who the f do you think I am? Lay up, what is a lay up? No one knows what a lay up is. We're going for this one. A little bit of wind here to help us out. We're gonna aim right about landing spot, right around here. A little bit of extra power probably right about there with the wind. We get a nice little bounce to the left, roll down the hill, catch this a little bit of a hill right here, right down, leak it towards the green there. Maybe a little, another click to the left there, right there. Ooh, we pulled it a little bit to the left there, but I think it's still good, still looking good. And maybe it is gonna come up short. Oh my God, is it ever? Should've went with driver, I guess. Wow, interesting. Lob wedge. Same spot, a little bit to the right here, a little bit forward, right about there. Right there. Whoa! Whoa! Slippery little ball. It's got a chance. It's not, it doesn't have a chance. Doesn't have a chance. Oh. 
in NBA, uh, the Hornets are my home team, but Miami and Lakers are my go-to teams as I'm mainly football person and any racing, but I watch any sport that's on basically. Yeah, I'm the same way, Jace, uh, Jesse. I'm the same way. I'm the same way. Honestly, like, I'll watch whatever's kind of on, but um, I'm, I'm mainly not NFL. I'm mainly hockey. Obviously, being Canadian, hockey is, like, obviously huge up here. Uh, it's always been Canada. It's always been a lot of hockey and everything else. So that one's very, very interesting, like, you know, we're a lot more hockey focused than NFL focused. Not a lot of people cheer for football or even watch football. Same with NBA. Like basketball is really not too huge up here. Obviously, you know, we have the Raptors. It was kind of big there for the year or two that they were doing really, really good. Uh, you know, we watched a bit here and there, but I don't really watch it too much anymore. I mean, if I'm watching TSN or something and the highlights are on, I'll pay attention to it. But, like, I don't... Uh, I don't have TSN anymore, so I'm not, like, actually going to try to find the highlights and watch the highlights or pay for the TSN app to go watch them or anything else. But I'm the same way. I'm, I'm kind of the same way. I'll watch whatever. If I, if I go somewhere and it's on, I'm, I'm paying attention. I'm watching it. If I go out to dinner and I see the NBA games on or the football games are on, I'm tuning in. I'm watching. I'm tuning in. I'm paying attention to see what's happening and see what's going on kind of deal. I try to keep up on most of it. I know the Celtics and my 76ers are playing against each other in the second round. We were the only team with the 4-0 win, like the 4-0 series win in the first round, and now we're tied 1-1 second round with the Celtics. That much I know. Football, the Eagles looking pretty good again. Open for another good, you know, couple years of runs to go for uh, some more Super Bowls. Uh, what other major sports do we got here? That's NBA, NFL, soccer. I don't really pay attention at all to soccer. I don't know. I don't know. That's about it. That's about it. I don't know. Uh, racing, same way. Racing, I like, you know, obviously, I'll watch NASCAR. I try to watch NASCAR every Sunday. I do like cheering on, you know, most of the Hendrick boys. I'm, I'm a huge Hendrick fan. Grew up being a huge Jimmy Johnson fan. Uh, right from the start of his career was really when I first started to watch racing so I remember you know his first Daytona 500 my old man and his friends were there watching and we all kind of picked drivers and you know Johnson being a rookie and being young and being you know pretty cool looking dude I kind of I, I went with Johnson and he had a good race and then from that point on I just always cheered for him and then obviously went on to have you know an amazing amazing career so Johnson has always been you know a, a favorite of mine and especially once everyone else really hated him when he was winning all the time it was absolutely awesome because everyone else hated him and uh he was definitely my favorite so that was always cool too that was always really neat that was a good time that was a good time we got an eight iron big first bounce a little bit of a roll out we're gonna play it back just a little bit here breaking a little bit to the right with that wind to the right as well we're right about there See what we do here Okay, so a little bit farther to the left, but pretty good weight, pretty good line. Good chance here at b -b 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 Birdie. We'll roll it right into the cup. Kerplunk. What's up right there? That's what's up right there. Only two under for the event. That's crazy. It's crazy we're only two under. Hockey, of course, Hurricanes as well. Of course, of course, the Hurricanes. I mean, hey, the Canes, the Canes are uh, a good-looking team this year, man. The Canes are definitely a good-looking team again this year. They've been building the last few years. I think they may have a shot at doing it again, picking up another Stanley Cup. Um, honestly, I don't know. Florida's looking really, really good, too. Florida's looking very, uh, very stout, very talented. They're really riding a high being, you know, the underdogs throughout this thing. So I think they're really running on that. Uh, other than that, you know, Edmonton Vegas series, that's a really good one. That's going to be interesting to see how that really plays out. I think whoever wins that series, I think, will more than likely move on to the finals. But uh, I don't know. I, I have a conspiracy that it's going to be Florida and it's going to be Seattle who make it to the Stanley Cup Finals. Seattle needs it, a huge boost to, you know, their fan base, bringing in more fans in Seattle and everything else, making it a huge thing, getting a lot of bandwagon fans as well. 
Florida's had their struggles the last little while, so they've been, uh, you know, they've been dealing with some things. You know, they've they've had a lot of times in the last few years where they haven't been able to fill that stadium. The team's been kind of getting pretty down on like you know the bad end kind of deal. So I think they could really use it. It'd be a huge boost to them, a huge boost to you know selling tickets and bringing in fans for next year and adding a lot of bandwagon fans as well. So I think Florida and Seattle as a business aspect is what the NHL looks at it. I think those are the two teams that could really, really use that extra boost. New Jersey is kind of close. New Jersey does have a good fan base, but they're kind of close with it where I think they could be on that edge of making it in over Florida because of that reason, because of like they could also use that big boost in their fan base and their business model. Um, then obviously, I mean, if Connor Bedard is going to live up to his hype and have a huge effect on, you know, a certain team's career and everything else and, you know, being the next, you know, Connor McDavid, I think Anaheim could use him, but I don't think Anaheim would get him. I think if the NHL's actually rigged, Arizona gets Connor Bedard in one year's time when Toronto was out of the playoffs. Austin Matthews is a free agent. Austin Matthews signs with, you know, he's going to sign. He's he's signing back with Arizona as well, especially if they have Connor Bedard. And got Austin Matthews, Connor Bedard, which is going to be the next Connor McDavid. That's kind of perfect, and that really resurrects the entire Arizona stadium and their whole issues that they've had and not selling tickets as well. And, I mean, that's uh, that's a three-peat right there. I mean, that's one, two, three things that the NHL can check off their uh, their list of things to kind of improve on, earn more earn more money on. I think that's that's what it is right there. Uh, did you see my last uh, VSM comment, Laugh Out Loud? I didn't. Your VSM. Violent speed momentum. Violent speed momentum. I don't think I did. Is YouTube messing with me on the comments, Jesse? They got are they are they 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 blocking some comments? They better not be. I clicked all comments. It should be good. I should have seen it, but I didn't see it pop up. Oh no, brother! Oh no, brother! A little violent speed and momentum, or velocity speed momentum, I guess. But it's violent speed momentum, hundred percent, hundred percent. Well, listen, guys, if you're tuning in to the stream and you haven't already, make sure you hit that like button on the stream, hit that share button, hit that follow button. If you're watching on YouTube, hit that subscribe button. Every single like, comment, share all helps push the stream out to more and more people, helps us reach new viewers, more eyes in here, and potentially, you know, building up more and more viewers and everything else. And that's the main goal, just continue to build and get bigger and bigger and better and just continue to improve on all fronts. And uh, hopefully that's what we can continue doing here on a daily basis baby okay let's see what we can do here wins right into us but we're gonna get this a little extra speed wow that was wow that was struck absolutely blistered perfect shot perfect shot beautiful little roll 340 right down the pipe we'll take that we'll take that all day every day let's have a look at this Bryce of Shambo with a DeChambeau. Shambo oh, for birdie. Long range bomb mate. Long range bomb mate. Look at that. 30 foot putt right in the hole. Good shot. Good shot, Bryson. Wow, he's had a pretty up and down day here. A par, bogey, par, eagle, par, bogey, par, birdie. Wow, okay. Interesting. Pitching wedge. Here. I like that strike. This one's hitting well towards the green. Need a little bit more. Just a little bit more speed there. Just a little bit more distance. We would have been golden. Clean those guns off, you know? Just tapping it in. Tap, tap, tap it in. We're up through four holes. Oh, my. Another Canadian, Adam Hadwin. 
Adam Hadwin, he's minus three through four. Okay. Okay. Five wood. Oh, shoot, brother. Can't get there with that. So we got to use a wood, which is scary. Look at the break here. Look at that. She really washes down up here on the right and really washes down right in the middle. Washes down to the front. Washes down to that second half down there as well. So this is going to be a tricky, tricky, tricky one to keep it up there. Not let it get too far out of there. And this is kind of a little bit flat-ish. It's going to hit off this. It's probably just going to go straight. But it does have an opportunity that it may kick left or right. What am I doing here? Why am I chipping this? Needed more speed right there. That was almost not good. Fuck. This one's looking good. We'll take that. We'll take that. All right. Let me see. Let me see here. See over there on Facebook now, Jesse. Yeah, see you over on Facebook now. Uh, I think YouTube hey, might not have uh, liked me saying butt naked. Oh, okay. Yeah, that might have been it. That might have been it. I have it turned off so that you can, uh, don't have to, should allow every comment, which is weird. Just definitely weird. But hey, you know what? Welcome in over here on Facebook now, my boy. Welcome in over on Facebook. Hey, Facebook always needs that extra little bit as well. Needs those comments and the likes and the shares and everything else. So, welcome in to the blue site. If worst case scenario, the green site over on Kick. If you don't have Kick yet, Kick is uh, the, a new streaming service, a new streaming site. It's basically exactly like uh, Twitch. It's just built better for the content creators. Like Twitch takes, you know, an, uh, a 50/50 cut of sub revenue and like bits and everything else. Kick only takes a, a five percent cut, so they give way more back to the streamer. And you got a lot of people that are going over there, everything else. So we multi-stream over to Kick, but we don't. Uh, just solely stream there, obviously, if you see me on YouTube and Facebook, where we're trying all three and hopefully to continue growing over there on kick and potentially someday that might be where we end up. But, uh, you know, is what it is. If we have to stay over on Facebook, we stay on Facebook. Yeah, I'm not too butthurt about any of it. Uh, do we go for this? I think we just go for it. Honestly, I think we're just going to go for, like, right here. Hope that extra little bit of power clears us here. The wind's kind of helping us. I don't want to roll into that bunker, but we're going to go for it a little bit more here. Try to cut her off. 103 power. That's what we really needed right there. Is that 103? It's got to get up. It's got to get up. It's got to get up. Oh, no, brother. No. Oh, no. Oh, P. Where the fuck is P? Oh, it's way over here. What the? Oh, God. What is this? What is that? Q. What the fuck is Q? And here we are with the third shot. <sighs> the lead. Guess we'll play it safe. That's heading for the fairway. Damn it. And here we are with their fourth. Just a stroke behind the leader.
Oh. That would have been a crazy save par right there. That would have been a crazy save par. 100%. 100%. That would have been nuts. Would have been nuts. Oh, and that was our first bogey. That was our first bogey ever in this guy's career. Oh, no. Uh, I said you uh, ain't never been oiled headed, uh, oil head. Uh, to tippy toe in Vaseline running butt naked through the Ethiopian jungle with poisonous caterpillars at the top of the mountain but literally only halfway up <laughs> or have you oh I definitely haven't been but trust me the poisonous caterpillars they're starting to show up I got one growing right here right on my upper lip and uh, you know what I'm, I'm reaching I'm reaching up there I'm, I'm, I'm screaming, I'm screaming, Doc! Doc! Pull me up! I'm, I've been waiting. I've been hanging there, just trying to keep climbing, just c trying to keep climbing, helping, you know, hoping, hoping for that hand. Hoping for that hand. That'd be the hand of God or the hand of Dr. Disrespect. I've been holding her up there, you know, waiting for that lucky break. Waiting for it. Just waiting for it. Someday. Good things don't happen overnight, so we we just keep on grinding, keep on grinding, keep on striving for you know bigger, better things, and hopefully someday we may get lucky enough to have an opportunity to do some cool things in our lifetime. But uh, who knows? Stalking drive. Stalking drive. Yo, Jesse coming in with that heart reaction as well. Let's go, my boy. Let's go, homie. Oh, up onto the green, but I think we're going to leave ourselves a very, very long putt. But you know what? Green under regulation. What the fuck? <laughs> what the fuck do I do here? Come on, come on, come on, come on. All right, that's a good leg, but we'll take that. Look at that, dead fucking straight right here, okay. Nice easy putt right there, we'll take that, we'll take that. Yeah, that one looks uh, good and poisonous. Uh, you might need to get that, uh, that chopper quickly. Quickly now, hurry, hurry, get to, to the chopper, get that to the chopper. Gotta quickly get that to the chopper, 100%. 100% we need to get to the chopper. I'm looking for the X-Fill, and uh, I haven't found it yet, but we've been looking. We've been looking to get to that X-Fill, trying to get the f out of there with it. Hopefully, hopefully we'll get there. Going with the hybrid. Going with the hybrid. We're going to get right into the side of this hill. It's going to kill the momentum, but jump up enough that it's going to roll out perfectly up, snug towards the hole. Okay, that worked out well. That worked out well. We'll take that. Well, somebody on hole 11. What do you got for us? Is this Deschambeau again? Is he gonna chip in another ball? What in the f is going on here? Good, good shot. Deschambeau playing out, lights out right now, bro. Good for him. Good for him. Like I'm not upset at all with that one. What a shot. Chance to take it even deeper here. Breaking to the right at the start, breaking a little left at the end. Almost the same velocity, but I think just a little bit left edge ish, right about there. This one's dialed in. Let's go. Like to see your name moving up the leaderboard, never a bad thing. Tied for first. Tied for first. It's where we make our move. This is where we strike. It's where we attack. 
nothing but velocity, momentum, and speed right here. A little bit of VMS, and we're going to try to park this bad boy up here into a good spot. We're going to look. We're going to try to get just a little bit of wind help, land it right about here, get a nice kick, not too far to the left. Hopefully, ah, that is a pretty big hill right there. We might want to aim just a little bit farther this way, right there. Need to clear that. It may get a big bounce to the left here. I'm not going to lie. Yeah, this is a quality looking shot, this one. That should find the short stuff. Quality looking. That's what we want to hear. There we go. That'll work. That'll work. That'll work out well. Anyways, my man, you're doing good. Keep making holes. I'm going to stop Let's yapping and Rock let you push. play, my man. Let's get it. Let's get it, Jesse. Let's get it, my boy. Listen, homie. I. If you want to just hang out and watch, you can do that, my boy. But I always love the conversation, homie. I always love the conversation. Always welcome more and more conversation as well. You guys want to chat. You guys want to talk about life. You want to talk about what's happening in the world. I'm in. And I got an ear. And I got two ears. And I'm down to listen. And I'm down to uh, have those conversations. Never, never turn down a good conversation, you know. You never know when you're going to get another one with somebody. So always down to have a good ear to listen. All right, we didn't get really any rollout on the axe of the hill, but we'll take that. Let's go! What a shot! What a shot! Golden little chippy chip right there. Puts it into the hole. Let's go. What's up right there? That's what's up right there, baby. Oh, and they increase their lead. And we this increase our lead. Can they hold up this play? I'm pretty sure this oh, cool copy. Oh, now I got to go pee. Chat, BRB, I'm going to be right back, okay? I'm going to be right back here. Quickly, taking a quick pee break, and then we're going to be right back into it. Give me about 60 seconds. Not even. Not even. We'll be back here in a second. We're good. We're good. We're back. Okay, Jesse says, uh, in that case, do you have time to talk about our Lord and Savior, Tiger Woods? <laughs> All right, I'm done. Laugh <laughs> my ass off. Okay, okay, okay. I mean, I always have time to talk about Tiger, okay? He's basically like my dad, not going to lie. He, he basically is my dad, okay? Oh, that is crushed. Crushed. A little bit of a bend to her to help her out with the wind here a little bit. 
Should be golden. Hopefully it doesn't roll into the grass. Stop, 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 stop. Oh! Just perfect. Just perfect. What we got here? Gap wedge. Good first bounce. A little bit of wind, though. That's going to help us out here. A little bit of break to the left and a little bit of wind to the left. Go right about there. This one is chewing fiber. Oh! That's inside the right Damn! Shot. Of all the shots that I like the most, that one ranks right up there. That does Let's rank right up there. What's Furyk doing? This is his third. Oh, perfect bunker shot. Wow. Okay. Okay, Jimbo. Still plus one, so suck it. You're losing this rivalry, my boy. You're losing this one. Let's see if they make it. That was a tough putt, not gonna lie. It had me thinking there for a second. It had me thinking. Up by three shots. Up by three shots. <laughs> That's beautiful. That's beautiful. Three shot lead. We'll take that all day. All day. We'll take that. Wind helping us a little bit. Five hybrid. Gonna get some roll. Gonna get a good little bit of a roll out here. We're gonna kinda aim it right about there. Right about there. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa, okay. This is a ball striking clinic. Yet another green and rake here. Iron play today has been absolutely stellar. Luke, the greens and regulation, just a fantastic accomplishment. Great to watch. This is seven birdies today. And with that, we move to eight under par. Awesome play. Our leader is currently enjoying a four stroke advantage. That was good. That was a good putt. It had me. I was. It kind of took my breath away there for a second. It uh, did like that whole little loop around the hole, then fell in on the back side. It had me stressing. It had me stressing and a blessing. And luckily enough, it went in. We'll take it. 100%. 100% we'll take that. Perfect drive. Perfect roll, perfect drive. That's what we needed right there. It does give us a little bit of a bad look at the hole. I just realized the flag stick is far to the right here, so we're aimed right into the trees. That is not how we wanted it. Uh, shift. Shift, shift, shift. What does shift do? Shift does not help me one bit here. Shit, I'm hitting the wrong fucking button. Why am I doing that? I resets it. <laughs> what a shot. Look at this. Five foot putt, dead straight, four eagle, bottom of the cup, middle of the cup. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Welcome. For the best show. 
on the PGA Tour. Let's get it. Let's go. That's perfect. Perfect hole. Perfect hole. Oh, that was beautiful. Why are they showing someone else's highlight when I just pulled off the shot of the fucking ear right there, okay? Yeah, this was pretty good. What is it? 74 yard chip in out of a bunker? Okay, not bad. Good shot. Good shot, Cantley. He is even par, though, and I am the leader, so I mean, mine is still kind of better. Yeah, mine didn't go in, but it was definitely better. See, now we're up by six shots. We're just running away with it. Poor Tyrell just. <laughs> doesn't even know what to think sitting down in the clubhouse. Nice the last one coming off that eagle. See what's in store for oh, shit. Next. I don't think we go for that. I don't know. So we hit it like a little weaker and just try to get it up there. But I mean, like, it's going to roll pretty good. A little bit of wind, too. I don't know. I'm just nice and breezy, staying easy here. Hit some leaves, but I it worked out good. It worked out all okay. I'll take that. Choosing the nine iron here. Oh, this one's right down the pipe. Take that. We'll take that. And five feet again. Take that. Three feet to go here to the hole. That's eight birdies today. Eight birdies today. Eight birdies just on the evening. Now seven strokes Woo. up after that hole. It's a beautiful thing. It's a beautiful thing, chat. Listen, if you guys are just tuning in and you haven't already, make sure you guys hit that like button, hit that share button, hit that follow button. Become part of the Peacemaker crew here today. If you're watching over on YouTube, hit that subscribe button. Become part of the Peacemaker family as we're going to get ready here for hole number 14. This is looking like it's a three wood, and we don't do that here. We don't do three wood action at this in this household. No, 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 no. Go big or go home all day, every day. You got to try to at least get a little bit closer to the hole. I'm not going to play up. Look at that. Perfect balance right there. Staying out of the rough. Down towards the hole. Perfect angle at it. Only a 93-yard shot to that flag stick. We're sitting with a sand wedge. Good first balance. Not a whole lot of roll out, but the wind is helping us on our back here. Pushing it forward and to the left. So we're going to go right about there and just back and eh, no right right about right about there right there that straight perfect gonna get some good back spin okay a little bit too much back spin but we'll take that an absolute stud It's just an easy one. A little left edge putt there. Just roll it in. We're on a heck of a run here, though. They gave us that. We got a bogey there after hitting it into the water. It screwed with us there, getting that bogey. But, I mean, we tried it. We went for it. We did. We went big, not going home. And Jim Furyk, our rival here, going to make a good putt. Wow, that's a good one. Good shot. Good shot. He's up to minus one. Trying to work himself up inside the top five. And after that hole, well, Jim Furyk, eh? Now, current leader is enjoying a seven-stroke advantage. Top five is minus three with Adam Scott. Brant Snydeker. Two miles an hour forward here. Okay, we're going to cut this little corner right here just a little bit. Hope for a big jump here off this shot. Little 103, a little bit of a draw to it. Good bounce right here and roll down the hill just a little bit. There we go. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Wonderfully played. Wonderfully played. A six iron, gonna get a big bounce. The wind is helping here a little bit. 
Breaking to the left just ever so slightly, not that much, but just a little bit. Yeah, let's go. Play it back just a bit more. There we go. Opting for the six iron. Perfect. Wait, just a little bit too far to the right, I guess. Okay. Easy roll. Easy roll. Easy putt. This back nine is going to be record breaking right here. Record breaking back nine. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome into that one. Oh, holy. Just a few holes to play. Let's shoot a Let's quick text message here. Here is Zach Attack. All right, let's eye it up here. We need this hole in one. I don't think we're going to get it. And I don't even think we can. What is up with this hole, bro? What the? A three would only go as 226, and yet. Wow. All right, this is interesting. What do we do here? No wind help, but we can get a little bit of a play off this. A little bit of a fairway, but if it's going to hit anything, honestly, right there. I get pushed back a little bit. It's going to bounce to the right. We also need to go, like, right here. Up there, maybe. Right there. Go with the three wood here. The extra little bit of power might be too much. It might not be. Might not be. Might be it. <laughs> oh. That's an absolute wow. Almost a gimme birdie there, Luke. Fantastic. Couldn't have just, couldn't have just given it to me. Couldn't have just went in the hole there. Like, come on, come on, brother. Let's have a look at Patrick Candlay from earlier. Patrick Candlay from this earlier. Nice little easy well, chip. Nice, good, good chip. Good chip. Good chip. Good chip right there. That's pretty decent. That was pretty nice. Not gonna lie. That was pretty nice. 100%. Good shot. Good solid. Just so good chip that right hole, there. That was pretty good. That was pretty like. good. Not going to lie. Yo, that man, Stan. What's good, Stan? What's good, my boy? Good, Stanley. They're on the kick, showing the love. Two Canadians at the top of the leaderboard here. That's what we like to see. Canada represented here in this one. Is our second round here, Chad? I don't even remember if it's our second round or not. Yeah, that one will play. Yes, it will. Okay, no rollout. Right on a hill right here. Okay, interesting. Look at this back nine, bro. And we got another par five here. We got another par five to finish it off. Wow. This back nine is pretty, pretty good so far. Been pretty nasty back nine, not gonna lie. Seems like a long par five though. Big drive there, a little 103% power. Got a good little bit of extra into it there. Looking for a good rollout right here. I'll be able to roll a little bit closer to the hole, but okay, we'll take it. Okay, we're looking at three wood here. 
And I need to kind of hit the berm right here. You can see that it's kind of breaking hard left there. So we kind of want to keep it up here and then let it break down into it. See how weird this looks here. It's pretty flat, honestly. So it's going to probably bounce fairly straight. We're going to go right about there. Yeah, right, right there, right there, right there. Bob Ding for the three wood. Hit it, hit it, hit it, hit it. Okay, that gives us a good look at Eagle. Gives us a good look at Eagle to finish this one off. Breaking a little bit left at the start here, then banking back to the right. I think it's definitely two lines, two and a half lines more to the right than it is going left here on us. We're going to go right about there. So you know what? We're going to go a little bit more right there. Twenty-five, eleven under on the back nine. Eleven under on the back nine holes. Two eagles, all pars. Insane, insane round right there, chat. And then with an eleven shot lead, no one could hang with us, bro. They couldn't hang with us. Unlock a very dapper-looking uniform here. Okay, Take that two hundred and fifty currency. Take that too. Leveled up to level 11. We'll take that. Take that all day. That was nice. That was nice. That was good. That was a good, that was a good round right there. Very good round. All right, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, we're going to call it there on that one. On that note, we're going to call it there. Fortunately, we're going to end the uh, morning stream here. Just a good little, uh, you know, couple hours. Good little couple hours. It's a nice little chill morning stream. I mean, it was a ton of fun playing some more PGA Tour. We're going to continue to try to do some more morning streams, some, you know, a little bit earlier afternoon streams if we can kind of deal. And, uh, you know, just trying to get that content out there, man. That'll be live content or uh, offline content. We want to continue to pump out the content here for all the viewers so you guys always have something to watch, always have something to do, and just continue to create that content and everything else. If you guys want to help out the stream, if you guys want to help us out behind the scenes, with, you know, the editing tools and everything else and just keeping us going, you know, maybe buying us an energy drink or two. You know, uh, Facebook, we take uh, star donations, uh, subscribers over there as well, like a uh, uh, Twitch subscription, basically. Uh, Kick, we haven't quite got there yet. We need a few more followers over on Kick.com, Kick Streaming, Live Streaming. Uh, we need to get uh, some more followers over there before we can unlock subscriptions there. Uh YouTube, we're, we're a little ways away. We're getting there on the hours, but we're quite a ways away on the subscribers over on YouTube to start earning, uh, you know, their their paying service area and ads and everything else. We're a little bit a ways away from that one over on YouTube. The more and more subscribers we can build up over there, you know, the better and better and better and closer we're going to get to that. And uh, we're, we're really far up there with the hours watch, so we're Definitely going to be on that note. By the time we hit 1,000 subscribers, we'll be way beyond the 4,000 watch hours over there on YouTube, which is absolutely insane that the community over there that we have watches so much of uh, what we do to really make that uh, make that number that much bigger and bigger and bigger. is absolutely insane. But we continue to get bigger and better. If you guys want to help out, we do have a PayPal. Just shoot me a message or you know, shoot me a message over on Twitter or you can find our link trees on most of our, you know, our Instagram and our Twitter feed as well has our PayPal in there. You can always donate that way as well. But uh, it's never necessary. It is muchly appreciated, but it's never necessary. You never have to. You never need to. But uh, if you want to help out and see more content or see us play other games or anything else, definitely shoot us a message, you know, and, uh, you know, tell us what you want to see. If it's going to cost us money to buy the game, then, uh, you know, obviously it might take us a little while before we can try it out. But, uh, Definitely want to try more games out, play more games, experience more things, reach new people, reach new venues and new eyes in here, and, uh, you know, kind of get everything going and get everything continuing to build in the right direction. But anyways, guys, listen, thank you all for tuning in. Hope you guys all have a wonderful evening. I hope you guys all have a wonderful rest of your day. I will be back on live just after 7.30 Eastern time here. We have some more Dirt Street Stock action, so make sure you guys tune into that one as we will be back at the track. We will be racing again later on tonight. That's just after 7.30 Eastern time, probably a little bit closer 
towards like eight o'clock, but probably like you know, seven fifty, seven forty five, somewhere in that area is when we're gonna be back live and ready to go for uh for 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 the racing action. So hopefully we'll see you guys there. Hopefully you guys have yourselves a wonderful rest of your day. Peace out, much love, have yourselves a great rest of your Friday, and I'll see you guys here later on tonight, baby. Woo!